from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Well, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think Virtual 2021. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE. We've got three great guests here talking about IBM Cloud Satellite and AI Operations. Lori Guillo, GM of Global Cisco Alliance. Matthew Engelstad, IBM Partner, Lead Client Partner for Canada Financial Services. And Kubran Kandasamy, VP of Personal Insurance at Economical Insurance. Folks, thanks for coming on theCUBE. This great panel on Cloud Satellite and AI Ops. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you, John. Good to see you. Well, first, let's start with you. There's the general manager for the IBM Cisco Strategic Partnership. Tell us more about the relationship um, as cloud has become hybrid and it's pretty much determined that's the standard and multi-clouds right around the corner. The programmability of the infrastructure is critical. And so obviously you can see the modern applications are doing that. Take us through the IBM Cisco Strategic Partnership. Absolutely. So John, as you know, and we've talked in the past, it's a 25 year relationship between IBM and Cisco, long standing. Now, if you look at Cisco in the past, they've really been known as a networking and hardware company. But with the evolution of Cisco and how they're changing, they're really switching to be more around supporting technology and in the services and software areas. With that change coupled with Kendrel, our spinoff of what we were previously calling Nuco, we have an opportunity now to refocus all of the work that we're doing as IBM and Cisco going forward. You couple that with the Red Hat acquisition that we did uh, almost two years ago, we've got a three-way partnership here that's really bringing a lot of value to the marketplace. Now, when you look at that from a hybrid cloud perspective, we announced our satellite product, which is built on top of Cisco technology with IBM in that as well. And then really taking the security elements of what Cisco does and bringing all this into the fold around that hybrid cloud solution. So we're super excited about this. Real quick while I have you, you brought up a couple of key points I just want to get to. I know we're going to get to it later, but the operating model has shifted. You mentioned with the, with the new co and these relationships, ecosystem relationships and network effect, not just like packets, but like businesses and APIs are, are critical. This new cloud operating model is really a bit center of, the, of that that, that equation. How does that relate into all that? So the, you know, these operating models and how we're going to market here is changing dramatically. And, and you take what Cisco's doing and, you know, we've got a client here with us today, Kubram, who's going to talk about what they're doing with some of this technology, but really taking that at the core of how do you bring value at the client what are they doing to get that hybrid cloud solution put into place? And then what are all those surrounding elements around software, managing the apps and things that we need? This is where IBM and Cisco coupled together really bring value. Cooper, you got teed up beautifully there. So I want to go to you, then I'll go to Matthew after, but okay, tell us more about this uh, IBM Cisco dynamic. You guys are a hot growth company, um, doing very well and continuing to grow. And sure, post pandemic, it's looking good too. So. Take us through why you decided to engage IBM and Cisco. Sure, sure, John. Thank you. Um, you know, to appreciate uh, how we got here and why we asked IBM and Cisco to help us, let me first start by providing some background. Our journey started back in 2016 when we launched Sonnet and MVP. Uh, Sonnet is our fully automated direct to customer digital channel where our customers can quote and buy home and auto properties online without the need to engage anyone at Economical. Then in 2018, we launched Vine, another MVP. Vine is our simplified self-serve and digitized broker channel where our broker partners can quote and buy home and auto insurance policies for their customers, again, without the need to engage anyone at Economical. Both uh, Sonnet and Vine have won awards for innovation and both have been industry disruptors. You know, after launch, we heightened our focus on enhancing business functionality and user experiences. Given that we had started with MVPs, it made sense for us to put a lot of emphasis on enhancements initially. And, you know, we maintained platform level uh, monitoring capabilities at a macro, at macro level. We we and, and the way we did the enhancements where we stood up agile pods, you know, focused on very specific business mandate. 
This approach delivered desired results for our business, but as our excitement grew for our upcoming IPO and our business started ramping up their growth plans, we needed to increase our focus on fine tuning key components, which included enhancing our focus on stability and predictability for our Sonnet and Wine platforms. And we needed the ability to look deeper and get into the micro level so that we can monitor the pulse of uh, you know, every component of our user's journey uh, um, across both Sonnet and Vine. And we needed help with this. And this is where we engaged IBM and Cisco to help us through this journey. On that vision real quick, you, how does the AI fit in? More on the automation side or on the app side? I mean, I can imagine with that growth on the IPO, you're thinking automation, I'm assuming. Can you elaborate so, quickly? Absolutely. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's it's a high, a lot of data that we get. Like it's all digitized, so we have a lot of data in there. And this is where, you know, the ability to be able to actually mine that data and actually be taking proactive steps in terms of predicting, having predictability, and all that. That's where the AI ops comes in. But that's part of our journey yeah. through this. Yeah, it's good. I mean, the theme here is transformation is the innovation at scale. Matthew, right. you lead the financial services division in Canada. What are you seeing as the hot topics uh, with your clients and how are you responding? How is IBM participating? Yeah, absolutely. And, and Kubran was touching on, on this um, from economicals perspective. They already have two leading uh, digital solutions in market with Sonnet on the, the retail customer side and Vine with their broker network. But we're, what we're seeing even more so in the past year or so of the pandemic is a dramatic acceleration of that end-to-end -end digital experience. So cl our clients and their customers are expecting digital native solutions that are contextually personalized, highly secure, and always available or extremely resilient, right? That obviously plays into IBM's capabilities and our joint capabilities with our partner ecosystem, such as Cisco App Dynamics, around hybrid, hybrid multi-cloud, and AI. So uh, if you don't mind, if I don't mind following up on that App Dynamics point, um, can you tell me a little bit more about how that solution played out and, and, and how that evolved? Yeah, absolutely. So first off, this was based a, a, again on our longstanding relationship with Cisco App Dynamics that Laura was speaking about. And then unique uh, to what uh, Kubran and Economical was seeking of stitching together the, the data footprint across the infrastructure architecture, but leveraging data in a business context. And I think that is the unique value that uh, App Dynamics brings to this scenario here is a market leading solution that does bring together those uh, multiple data sets, but contextualizes them in a business uh, context. So you can understand um, from a, a user perspective, that end-to-end -end journey, right from initiation in the application, all the way through the technical infrastructure, and it becomes very preventative uh, in terms of identifying and resolving potential issues before they even occur. So AppD and this IBM services worked well together right there. That's the, your key point, right? That's Absolutely, and that's the, the point is bringing to bear the best combination of of, of solutions and services on behalf of our customer set. And this is where App Dynamics and IBM uh, and our other partners work incredibly well together. Laura, talk about the dynamics again. This is again, this highlights the point of the better together combination here with the Cisco relationship and, and, this, and the IBM evolution you mentioned. Um, what can other clients expect? I mean, this is going to be the, the playbook. <laughs> I mean, you got the, the cloud satellite, take us through what this means. What does all this mean? Yeah, absolutely. I'll start and, and maybe even Laura can, can add as, as needed, but from an IBM perspective, uh, absolutely. Uh, we're going to work with our partner ecosystem um, in the hybrid multi-cloud world. So uh, we've really evolved, whether it's IBM cloud, AWS, uh, as some of our clients, including uh, Economical and others, uh, Microsoft Azure, um, <clears throat> Google, uh, it is about bringing those together regardless of, of strategic decisions made on cloud platform. 
but understanding how the applications play together and again, stitching together the data across those application sets to drive value out of it. Uh, this is where we're really seeing the evolution of IBM in our partner ecosystem and the evolution of IBM services as well. Awesome. Yeah, and if you, you really look at what Cisco's trying to do, um, they've declared they're going to be in this hybrid cloud space. They bring elements to the solution when you look at networking. We you look at some of the security. And then when we start looking at how this combines with edge technology, we really start getting combinations between the IBM technology, the Cisco technology, and how that completes a picture and a solution for a client. I love the end-to-end -end story. Obviously hybrid is a distributed computer in my mind, and now you got multi-cloud, it's just subsystems and all going to have to be operated together. And the software all makes that happen. I can see tons of headroom opportunity there. Kubaran, talk about what you guys are seeing as results now, because this is where you start to see um, um, the conversation shift to. It's not just go to the cloud anymore, it's make the cloud operational on all environments. That's really what people want to see. Can you share what you're seeing as a result and where do you go from there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, what's awesome about all of this is uh, first of all, in a very short time, the team, which uh, really was composed of a cross-functional and a highly collaborative group of people, uh, they've already delivered some key pieces that are giving us line of sight into what's going on for our business solution. And you know, the implemented uh, scope uh, is already detecting symptoms and allowing us to be very proactive. And it is also helping us to complete root cause analysis faster it's helping us reduce defect leakage uh, through our quality assurance practices. So, you know, for us, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a journey like, you know, unlike traditional approaches uh, where um, implementations are driven by predetermined scope, we are changing the mindset specifically because we're using a lot of telemetry and continuous discovery in helping transform how our platform is supported you know, it, it has become part of our philosophy where business and technology are now working closer together. And our vision is to navigate continuously towards having a highly automated monitoring solution that leverages cognitive insights and intelligence. So, you know, to, to be able to have a robust self-healing capability, and this is where it kind of ties with the whole cloud uh, capability because now you can actually enable the self-healing self capabilities and with it, uh, app dynamics bringing in the uh, uh, dynamic uh, capture of issues happening and things like that. And if you kind of step back a bit and if you think of this approach, this is no different than how we envisioned and how we implemented both Sonnet and Wine where it was a fully digitized end-to-end -end solution that provides services and value for, excuse me, for our customers, right? So. Hopefully that kind of stitches the picture for you. That's awesome, great insight. Laura, Matthew, Goran, thanks for coming on theCUBE. In the last minute that we have, let's go down the line. Laura, Matthew, and Kubaran, we'll start with you guys. What's the bottom line for IBM and Cisco's relationship with the cloud satellite and AIs? What should people walk away with? What's the bumper sticker? What's the summary? So as IBM invests more and more in these strategic cloud, hybrid cloud solutions, industry focused, it's really bringing an industry focused solution to clients without us having to reinvent that every time. And as you've heard from, from Kubram here, I mean, we're bringing that value to our customers. All right, Matthew. Yeah, I'd just like to add, and, and this is a great example here of being able to co-innovate and collaborate uh, with our partners and with our clients, economical in this case, to evolve these solutions. And as Kubran had stated, uh, this is the, the first step in, in a, a journey here, and there's lots of exciting things to come. Kubran, take us home, final yeah. word. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, what I would say is, um, what we've learned from this is really uh, standing this up in more like a garage style kind of uh, situation where you can actually get something going rapid and you get business uh, results and you start seeing ROI very quickly. So that's the benefit I've seen. Awesome, great points. Mm -hmm. IBM and Cisco, better together. This ecosystem, the co-creation, the new network effects is the new dynamic in the marketplace. This is the table stakes. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for sharing the insights. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, John. Okay, IBM Think. 
2021. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Thank you for watching.